Attention Walmart shoppers, there is a sale on adult diapers on aisle four. Psh. That's uh, kind of what this uh, electric scooter feels like, but uh, take off the seat and it's a whole other beast. But is it any good? Check out our review of this high boy scooter. We'll give you our honest opinion and see if it's right for you. Keep on watching. We've got a big pile up on aisle four. Now, as I mentioned, uh, sitting down, it seems a little silly. So let me show you what it's like. Take it for a ride. It's a really nice and quiet ride. It does go up speed of 19 miles an hour. Whoa, that's the brake on this side. The rear brake, this is the front brake right here. And uh, has sport mode and not sport mode. I can't remember which one is which. Red is sport. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh yeah. Goes up to his top speed of 16, or not 16, 19 miles an hour. And it's got a range of just over, I think, 20 miles, 25 miles, something like that. I'll put the exact specs on here. But um, let me show you exactly how I think I will use this sort of uh, scooter and how I'd recommend you thinking about it too. Whoosh. Oh, puppy. And that's exactly what I would expect just to be used for. Just a nice little leisurely stroll in the neighborhood. But that's about it. I mean, it's got a nice little, it's not, a, it's got a decent little ride to it. It's not like crazy. It's not a uh, super heavy duty. I do like that it has these uh, other brakes that really, I mean, you can really stop pretty quick. It's no problem to stop. Keep going really 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 2019. Mm -hmm. Hey. Whoa. I didn't see that guy. That was not good. Whoa, look at this road. How cool is this road? Whoosh, whoosh. Riding along on my electric bicycle, electric scooter. My baby beside me at the. Go ahead. Go for it. That is my UPS driver that drives and drops off all of these crazy packages full of stuff. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Spike is about 500 bucks. Um, right now, they got a sale going on. I think it retails for about 700 and something. Um, this bike, this little scooter is pretty, pretty sweet. It folds in half. I'll show you what it looks like here in just a second. And, uh, you know what? If you like have an injury or something, it actually would not be a bad idea to get a little one that you can sit down on. I like it. You can remove the seat. I jokingly got this from my friend who's an accountant. Nope. All these people go here. Man, I, oh, ooh, I mean, that, that brake is pretty dang good. So one small thing about this that is a safety feature on most other scooters is that you have to give a little bit of a, of a push to get going. And uh, it's all right. Woo. Started running to the store here real quick and uh, grab some provisions. And that's about what this scooter would be best for. Just grabbing a couple things at the store, come back and rock and roll. And uh, this is exactly what this is little scooter's best for. Little hard seltzer run. I was low and uh, can hold with one hand. Easy breezy, lemon squeezy. Does have a little bell. Pretty sweet. 
Now let me show you a little bit better about how this thing stops on a dime. Whoosh. So let me get this back going up. One, two, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Hit both brakes like that and we're done. Easy. You know, if you need to go 20 miles or so, I mean, 20 miles on this will still be a, a bit of a stretch. It's a little bit, you know, unsmooth, but if you got all paved trails, if you're a college student or something, if you just want a little scooter to go and uh, woo, do a little provision run, my, uh, like I said, my, my accountant friend wants, uh, want this bike here to stroll around town. Whoa. That was pretty nice. That is pretty fun. If you've got to get around town, do a little dance, get down tonight, this is a good one. It also has some sweet lights on it. Check this out. Woo! Power! I feel the power. The light, I feel like it's shooting a little, a little high, but it's also got the cool lights in the bottom. It's kind of fun. Something a little different. Man, what a nice day. Pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. Has a 500 watt motor in it, which is pretty incredible if you think about, you know, some of the electric bikes I have don't even have a 500 watt motor. I just did the, uh, a uh, tricycle adult tricycle review and uh it only had a 250 watt motor so this is a you know twice as powerful as that's pretty nuts i think these are much better like the spin scooters that are around town honestly i really like this it's nice and smooth i have got another scooter though in my garage that when i first rode it i was like are you freaking kidding me this is amazing what is it and is it worth the extra price? Keep on watching to find out more, but if you've got any questions or comments, let us know below. And I hope to see you again real soon. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. Welcome to my extremely dirty, dirty garage here, but I'll show you how easy it is to take off this bad boy. Ah, just break your fingers inside there. And then uh, we just pull that like this. And then this twist. Oh, there's a little guy right there. Too big, too small. Gotta catch them all. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. You don't wanna be a goosey. And then unscrew. The screw goes back in there, if I do remember correctly. It's been a hot minute since I put this bad boy together. Booyah! To your grandma. This piece goes in here. Like so. And that's what this screws into and holds it in place. Pretty, pretty cool. Let's go take this for a ride, shall we? We shall. We shall. Go take this for a ride. With. <laughs>